So the episode opened with Brooke reliving her hell in Australia, thinking about all the moments, the awkward moments, Katie trying to warn her, all the telltale signs that she missed. So she decides to freak out, cry, and then run out of the damn room. Brooke, I have nothing for you, boo. I'm sorry. I'm fuckless when it comes to you and your tears. Oh, God. We got to deal with Katie nosy ass today. Here she come flossing in the room. Well, you supposed to be on your honeymoon. My sister not married to you. So what's going on? Do I even have to guess? Is it Queen? Okay, if you know it involves Queen, why the fuck are we playing the mystery game here then, Katie? Katie, you can be so annoying, but yet so far away. If you know the issues and you know what's going on, why play mystery? Why beat around the bush? Why hide in the bush? Just come on and say what you got to say with all the damn, all the damn mystery and the rhyme word, the rhyming words and all the mysterious words and the way you put. Just say it, Katie. Goddamn, say it. Be strong for one damn second in your life. Oh, God, now we got to hear her up here calling herself, telling something. Do I really have to listen to Katie today? Can I fast forward her tired ass? I can't with her. I, I, I. <sighs> Katie, why are you worrying about what Ray is doing and what Brooke doing? Why don't you go find you a man and get you some business and you alive? You still learn about your sister and all of her business. Why don't you go find you one? Maybe you can go find you and poke your nose in somewhere else. Katie, I am about sick of you and your tired ass. And Rich. Rich. Why would you admit anything to Katie? You honestly and truly think Katie gonna keep this secret quiet yet. She mad at you for what you did to her sister. She don't like Quinn, so that's gonna be pretty in the mission now and means the opportunity for her to even go tell the fucking shit even more. Why would you tell this? Riz, why would you tell? Why would you tell this backbone no whole hell for this shit? Ridge, whatever happened, you breastly deserve. I wouldn't have told um Katie shit. I would have told Katie to go get her fucking live and say the fuck out of mind. That's what I would have told Katie. Why are you giving this woman opportunity to blow up your shit? Don't know about too many people know about this. Now you should be the last person you should tell this to is to is Katie. Now why you wanna confess your sins to Katie all of a damn sudden? You know she got feelings for Eric anyway. She could deny it till she turned blue in the fucking face. She got feelings for Eric. So what's stopping her from going telling the damn truth? Nothing at all. And just go ahead and admit everything. Go right on ahead. Just admit every damn thing. Watch she go quicker. Watch as soon as she can get to Eric. Watch she go tell him as soon as possible. Because you know her. So Sally out with um Thomas. Saul and um, Shirley up here plotting with Shirley plotting to try to break up her and Playboy, as she called him Pretty Boy. And we still know Saul still got feeling for Sally. So, of course, he won't sell it. He agreed that she ain't right for him. So now she coming up with this scheme to try to break them two up. For she can take the damn Forrester designs and make their little knocked up versions of them. Good luck with that, Shirley. Okay, Katie, it's time to shut the hell up now. That man get it. That man know he fucked up. For you to call yourself of all people to be calling this man on his bullshit, we could have found better to do all this. So what's your point? He know he a playboy. He know he only doing this to compensate for his fucked up um childhood. That's why he think he supposed to have every woman to take he supposed to play women like toys. Katie, you still lost him with your damn point. And why you want to sit here and judge this man like you some kind of saint yourself and you know you far from it. I'm confused why you giving this man such a hard time. Katie, give it a rest. So let me guess, you done freaking out now over Ridge all of a sudden. 
um, Bill saw you and happened to look back and he noticed that was you standing up there. Then all of a sudden, I guess you got a tingling feeling and realized Bill was behind you. So now you're looking face to face. What you gonna do? Hell, sex with Bill to get back at Ridge. What are we finna do here, bro? Cause we know you do revenge shit too. Jesus Lord, y'all had to squeeze in at the last little moment with Katie ass, didn't you? You just had to squeeze in there, didn't you? Brooke up there touching Bill face and hugging him with a big ass smile on their face. Yeah, don't you wish you would have stayed where you was at? Besides running back to your past running back to your past. I know you feel dumb now, don't you, bro? Listening to your son, listening to your older son, listening to Ridge, falling into them traps. Now, I wish you would have left them traps alone and would have stayed on the right track. That's only for you to figure out what you're going to do with your life. I still ain't got no love, no sympathy for you. And away though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And have a good weekend. Bye.